I'm having a midlife crisis right in the middle of this. You know, I think this is why I probably shouldn't bake at night. Hi everyone, it's Amy, and today we are going to be doing like a segment, a video, I don't know. It's gonna be called Late Night Baking with Amy. We're basically, we're baking late at night for me, not for you. Today for our late night baking, um, I am going to be doing a lemon pound cake. Um, I don't know what that is, but I just looked it up and I have lemons, so I was like, I'm going to do this. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. I have all my ingredients right over here. Preheat oven to 325. Oh, there's a specific cut. I have to put the rack in a different area. Does that look middle enough? Okay, so 325. Now in a medium bowl, whisk together flour, baking soda, salt, set aside. One, two, three. Okay. One teaspoon, a teaspoon, teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon. You better read the instructions, very important. Okay. Sure, why not? Um, I think that was a teaspoon. Some of it went inside. Some of it went on the teaspoon. That's okay, you know, equivalency, I think it was a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt, okay. Now I need this back, that's not good. Half a teaspoon of salt, okay. Wow, aggressive. And now we whisk. Okay, I think if that's whisked and set aside, another bowl, whisk together buttermilk, lemon zest, and lemon juice set aside, okay. I feel like there's a lot of instructions and I'm getting kind of confused. What is a zest? Is the zest like the outside of the lemon? So I didn't have buttermilk, so I made my own buttermilk, so that's why this lemon is like this. Does this, does this look like, is this a, is this, is this a grater? Like, like is this good for lemon zest? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Is this right? Okay, I think that's a lot of lemon zest. I think that's a good amount, right? That only gave us one. I had to use another lemon because this one just kind of, I uh, didn't want to use it anymore, so I used another one. There we go. Two tablespoons of freshly juiced lemon juice. Ah! <clears throat> we love squeezing lemons. I think I have enough. One, two. And how much better milk? A cup. Wow. I've never made buttermilk before. That looks so weird. Do you see the chunks? Ew, wow, that was very gross. Let's use this again and whisk together all of this. So we're done with the first page. Cream butter and sugar on medium speed for light and fluffy. Okay, okay, I got another plate. It's a little more weird shaped, but I think that's fine. From what I know, and I know nothing, um, I think that is an okay shape. It asks for two sticks of butter, so. Psych! Why couldn't you just land in the bowl where you were directed to? My hands are all buttery now. Why couldn't you just gone in normally like that? And now for sugar. How much sugar was it? I'm using the same cup. That's okay. A cup. And then that's another cup. And then we do a fourth. Um, the holes. The holes. Let me change the, the... Let me get back. I'm back with a normal bowl. We beat. So. What else? With the mixer on a low speed, beat flour and then milk. What? Let's just say, sure. That amount, and then beat it. And then a third, so that much. And then another one of this. You know what? I'll, I'll finish this because this is gonna take a while. And then I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. My hand's very tired from all this. So, I mix everything up. Now, 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 thoroughly grease and then we put it in. Okay, so easy. So, I have this. Ah. 
I think that's enough. Oh, this is heavy. I don't know what it, how, how do I? I feel like it's too thick. You know what, I'll just scoop it in. I think that seems best. Should I do this? Is this correct? Is this, does this seem normal? Spoon thick prepared bundita cake and smooth with rubber spatula, did that, wow, way ahead. And bake for 65 to 75 minutes or until the cake is golden and tester comes out clean. We put it in. So I'll see you in 65 to 75 minutes or until, it's sizzling, I don't think that's good. Or until golden brown. Okay, so we have about like 10 minutes left until we have to take it out, but we have to do a syrup, supposedly. Um, so we have to do a fourth cup of water and a fourth cup of granulated sugar. We boil that. So, I guess we boil. If this is your first video of seeing me, you know, and you're like, wow, this girl, it really isn't fun. Well, um, I'm sorry. This is late night baking with Amy, and usually when you're baking at night, it gets very tiring. I'm tired right now. And a fourth cup of water. Bring that to a boil. Seems simple. And I have some leftover. Oh my God. I had to put in three freaking eggs. You better read the instructions, very important. I was supposed to put three eggs in this. There's so many words. Like, who could read this and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna follow each and every instruction. No! I'm having a midlife crisis right in the middle of this. There's your content, okay? Because now we have an unknown cake that probably won't even taste normal because it doesn't have egg and we have boiling sugar that I don't know how to boil so I don't know how that's gonna turn out I don't know how either of those are gonna turn out so this is great I don't know how to read should I stop should I like get it out and it says to golden brown and that looks about golden brown how did I not read that how did I not read three eggs I feel like that was a very important step okay so, it looks like a biscuit. I'm gonna use a skewer and see if it's done. It's done. Now we let this biscuit calm down. I don't know what to do. This doesn't look right. I think it's gonna get stuck. And then we put lemon juice. And then we mix it up, I think. There we go. And that's our syrup. I'm gonna do this over here because if it messes up, I want it to be caught on the camera. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, shut up, I know. I wish I may, I wish I might, I wish on a star I see tonight, I wish this, I read the egg part so bad. Is this even cooked? This isn't turning out correctly. Let's just flip it over. You know, I think this is why I probably shouldn't bake at night for this exact reason. If I burn my fingers, I deserve it. And that's why you read instructions for this specific reason. You know what, I'm officially canceling late night baking with Amy. This is officially a cancellation. There will not be a second season. There will not be other episodes. This is the only episode you're getting of late night baking with Amy because I think I deserve it. Okay, I'm gonna put the syrup. I, I literally tried so hard. You wanna see what it was supposed to look like? That's what it was supposed to look like. So anyways, let's try it. I don't care if it literally just got out of the oven. I am trying this, so. I mean, it literally tastes like lemon bread. Like, if you got lemon and you put it on bread, that's what it tastes like. I think that egg would have done wonders 
Please don't follow what I just did, please. Um, if you want, you can go in the description. There would be a recipe, um, this exact recipe. Every single time I've ever tried to bake something, it never turns out, so I don't think any of you would actually follow what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So, yes, the recipe will be in the description so you can actually do it correctly. Anyways, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I would so very much truly appreciate it if you did. Please just do it. It's free. It doesn't hurt. If you don't like what I post, then you can just unsubscribe, okay? That'll be fine. But please, I would so much appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.